Hey guys and welcome to the Akinon's YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to extract tweets from a given hashtag using Python with the help of the TweetP library. So without further wasting time, let's get started. So before we head on to make writing code for this project, we need to first have the developer mode of Twitter enabled. So that is available in the developer.twitter.com link section. The link will be posted in the description so you do not need to worry about it. And once you log on to the website, then you need to simply create your developer account which is a simple instruction process. And then you need to create a simple application. And once you have completed with that, you need to go into the section of projects and apps. And under your my app section, you will have to create an app which in my case, I have created the my app code. And once you create your my app code, you will see a dashboard of settings as well as key and tokens. So you need to go to the section of key and tokens and generate all your API key and secret tokens as well as authentication and bearer tokens. Once you're completed with that process, then you need to simply take this code, which will be present in the description. Basically this code is taken from the Tweepy's official documentation. And we, we have created certain variables such as consumer key, consumer secret, access key, access secret keys. And these basically will be storing all the variable data value of the keys in the format of string, which will be taken from the Twitter's developer website. All that needs to be taken and saved inside the variables. And then you need to create a Twitter OAuth handler object, which is a REST API and place in the consumer key as well as the consumer secret key. And then you need to set an access using the set access token function, which will take in the access key as well as the access secret as the arguments. Once you're completed with that, you're good to go and start writing the code for your Python object. So first thing what we're going to do is we are going to create an API using the tweepy.api object. And this is simply going to take in the auth, that is the authentication that we've taken. And we're also going to create another statement saying that wait on rate limit is equal to true. So you do not need to worry about all these lines of code. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called as search underscore words. And this will be the search hashtag that we'll be implementing. So for the f timing, I want to implement Spidermap as the hashtag to search for requests. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data variable and data variable will be equated to twitty dot cursor. And this cursor object performs the searching of all the requests that we are going to take in. And I'm going to use the API's object that has a method called as api.search, which will basically search for certain data. And Q is an argument to search what as the content. So is, I'm going to equate it to search words because the search word is basically the hashtag of the word Spider-Man. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in another method called as tweet mode. And tweet mode is going to be equated to extended. You just need to write that down. And now finally, I'm going to equate it to dot items. And inside this, you can write in how many items you want to search for. Well, in this case, let's keep it five for simplicity purpose. And that's it. Now we have created a cursor object which will perform the searching. So let's print this data object and see how it's busy. So if I run this, as you can see, it runs perfectly. It does not give throughout any errors. And it says tweetpy dot cursor dot item iterator object is created and basically it's saying dot item iterator which means we can iterate over this object so let's see how we will iterate over it so first thing let, let me remove this print statement and place the output window a bit down and first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to save use a for keyword and say for each tweet inside the data and then i'm going to create a text object or a text variable text is equal to tweet dot I'm going to create a JSON type of return object using the underscore JSON method. And inside that I'm going to place in full text as a key, which will basically return only the text of the tweet object. And now I'm simply going to print the text. So at each iteration, what we are doing is we are converting the tweet object to a JSON type of return object. And then we are accessing the key of full text, which returns only the tweet of the object. And then we're simply printing the string format of the variable text, which is the tweet. So if I run this program, 
as you can see a certain set of tweets are coming something related to spider-man as you can see it says toby maguire never gets old which means the old spider-man then some hashtag of spider-man with some certain links and another set of tweet which says green goblins official spider-man poster so basically using the dot items methods we are only returning five tweet related objects so you can change that to let's say 10 and run this code now we will see a more number of tweets available so as you can see the number of tweets have increased so that's it from this really quick video where we just simply used 10 to 15 lines of code to extract python tweets using a given hashtag as a request call if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the Akinon's youtube channel for more fun and interesting videos